Now we will prepare for our final match of the evening. Day three looking to close. And can it close on a good note for the Americans? Mike Zadek of the United States, former Iowa Hawkeye wrestler, Montana native. He'll be taking on Syed Mohammadi of Iran. Again, a couple new faces to this weight class, on the international level. And if this is anything similar to Mike Zadek matches of past years, we can expect that it will be somewhat of a lower scoring affair. But whatever emotion and anxiety that Zadek is feeling, the same must be felt right now by Mohammadi as well. They've probably competed in the same amount of world level events. You see Zadek coming out. By his own admission, Zadek probably isn't the most normal guy in the world. And you see it right there with that double singlet look. Has one on backwards underneath his main singlet. But whatever works for him, and this seems to be working. He's, he's wrestling for a gold medal tonight here at 132 pounds. Zadek's last appearance in a world championships, and this is at any level, was when he was a cadet in 1999, and it was the Greco-Roman world championships for cadets. He placed fourth in that tournament. Actually, that was 1994, apologize. And there you see the Resident coach at the Olympic Training Center, Terry Brands, also a former Iowa wrestler. He was an assistant coach at Iowa during Zadek's competition days. And Brands, a former world champion, won a bronze medal at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia. And actually named his daughter Sydney, who was born just prior to that Olympic Games. There you see Sammy Henson, he wants to stay close to Matt's side and watch this match with Coach Lou Rosselli. That's a tight-knit group the U.S. team is. As I'm sure most countries would be able to say anyways, these wrestlers eat, sleep, and train with each other year-round. And we'll begin our 132-pound gold medal match in men's freestyle action. Mike Zadek wearing the blue singlet from the United States, and he's taking Syed Mohammadi from Iran. Mohammadi in the red singlet at the top of your screen right there on the right now. And you're seeing a Normal Mike Zadek match already. He's very smart, technically. He doesn't like to take a lot of over-the-top risks, as some others will, maybe even a Sammy Henson. If he doesn't see the right shot for him, he's just not going to take it. And he's also very tough defensively. A lot of his competitors over the years have had trouble scoring on him. You can ask Olympian Eric Guerrero about that even. And you see Zadek just staying in the center of the mat as we're over the midway point here in our first period. Now the crowd gets into it and it tells you that both the Americans and the Iranians have large contingencies here in the crowd. Guangzhou, China. 30 seconds to go now in the first period. And if this does go to a leg clinch, by the way, Mike Zadek 
has been in enough of those already in his young career to know how to either score or not be scored upon. So he may have the advantage either way that it goes. American wrestling fans are hoping that's the case. Zadok in a short shot, not too serious of an attempt, and the period comes to a close. We'll go to the leg clinch, so we'll flip a coin here. Looks like Mike Zadek has won the coin toss. So the advantage for the American now. And there you see, similar to Greco-Roman wrestling, they're trying to get that advantage as much as possible. There you see Zadek gets a pretty good lock on that leg and then he just lost it. Didn't look like Muhammad, he did anything spectacular there to break that hold. He had a good lock, and for some reason he just lost it. Now 12 seconds to go, Zadok, you see him getting on the offensive, he has to score here. And Muhammad, he just goes in on the legs and is just hanging on, and that's what he's gonna do till the end. So Saeed Mohammadi of Iran takes the first period, one to zero. See Mike DeRoe, former coach at the U.S. Olympic Training Center for the U.S. wrestlers. Working alongside with brands there. Zadok appeared, as we said, to have a pretty solid grip on that leg. The official will send Mohammadi back to the corner to get toweled off a little bit more. Again, they want to make sure that each wrestler comes out as dry as possible. And when you take your shot attempts, at least in freestyle, you're not slipping off your opponent or even setting them up. Now, we'll expect to see Mike Zadek get a little bit more aggressive here. He took his chance with the leg clinch in the first period, won the coin toss, had all the advantages in the world, and got a good lock, and still was unable to score off it, so. Now you see a lot more movement out of Zadek and Mohammadi up a period. Would be more than content to just stay in the center of the mat for the remaining one minute, 15 seconds of this second period. And there you see Zadok again, just kind of reaching down. He's looking for any little way though to get Mohammadi out of position right now. And this is maybe somewhere where Zadok's mentality of needing that perfect shot and he drives in, gets the out of bounds call. It wouldn't have mattered either way. It's either a takedown or a push out. But it's a 1-0 lead for American Mike Zadek. Fifty seconds to go now in the second period. Zadek with the advantage, but he has to be careful now. Because if Mohammadi just scores one point on tie-breaking criteria, the Iranian will win this match. Zadik must be smart. We remember a situation similar to this last year with Mohammed Lawal against Sajid Sajidov of Russia. And there you see Mohammed in on a shot. Zadik sprawls briefly, but circles back to the center of the mat. You can see Zadik trying to get back to the center, but having a lot of trouble getting back there. Now he is. 15 seconds left. Mohammed again in on a little shot. Now they get close again to that danger area, and they go out of bounds. Point for the Iranian. Saeed Mohammadi scores the point with nine seconds to go. And now Mike Zadek must score a point. He's not gonna be able to do it. Saeed Mohammadi of Iran. With just nine seconds to go, scores the winning point against Mike Zadek to win a world title.